I assure you one thing. You dare enter here, every time you want to relax, you find yourself here. So that's how it happens. It's a very welcoming home. It's a very relaxing home. And as you dig deep in art, you will find that the more you spend your time in an art gallery, the more relaxed you become. It's a healing place. Apart from buying, but there's also a healing place. And we welcome anyone who wants to come and heal here. Please let this be your home. Feel at home. Personally, I've been gaining through that. It's a healing place for me. Before we close, I spent about 30 minutes going through. But my last 30 minutes living here, I go through the art gallery as if I've not been here before. And I go home so relaxed. I therefore would like to welcome you to this place and make it your home. Enjoy it. And we are very, very happy that our vision is gradually getting achieved. And our main purpose is to identify the talents scattered in different homes, schools, and villages and develop them. So as you support here, remember back in your mind, you are also empowering the youth in terms of uh, development. There are beautiful talents hidden in the kids that we have to promote. That is the vision of this place. And we are not limited. We are expanding outside Rwanda. And this is the first uh, symbol of expansion welcoming other artists. I can say for me, uh, I am into um, the cultural diplomacy or art diplomacy. And it's part of many kinds of diplomacy that we have recent, in recent years. But we have uh, the public diplomacy in all its senses. One of it is, is really the art and culture. So for me, it connects people. It's the most simple way to connect people. And through performing, art, performing arts, um, all kinds of performing arts that I'm trying to, through them, to connect Wandans and Israelis. Uh, one of the ideas is, is going to finally materialize is to send a singer uh, to Israel. His name is Israel Boni. And we are going to send an airplane to Israel, to Jerusalem, for him to, to have uh, his uh, performances, their concerts. So if there is any Rwandan who is interested to fly in and uh, benefit from a concert in a holy land uh, by the holy guy, Israel Boni, he sings very nice. Uh, so through this and through other ways, uh, I'd like to, to, um, to promote uh, the relations with Rwanda. That's why I'm interested in this. Um, venue, as well as other very good galleries in the city. Art connects people, and uh, that's what we are for here and in diplomacy, and uh, I'm happy to be, to see so many people here. Congratulations. The art of gratitude. You see the seeds have to die to germinate and grow into the huge trees with sweet fruits we eat. You know the lethal wounds we have physically or otherwise gave us the beautiful scars we carry on our skins or deep inside in our hearts where people don't see. I think it is time to let go of all of it. I think it is time for us to realize that gratitude is an art we have to master and practice for as long as we live. Yes, I know God sheltered us through the worst moments of our lives where we thought we would never get from. There were people to hold our hands. There were faithful friends who opened their arms when we needed them to. But we should think so far. You remember the roadblocks, the obstacles that you met. They tested your patience, your tolerance, and your hope to go forward. The art of gratitude. It can be a short prayer to God. It can be a soft whisper to your friend. It can be a chorus of your soul to the environment around you like the soil you walk up on every day. But to everything and everyone who got you here today. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for you. 
Their voices were like water, liquid, soothing, and inviting. See, they are not fools, and some of them have been at school. They see you, they mirror you, they pierce you through an E with a humming whisper. So do not mistake them as a thing of the old days and their impudence. Oh, no, 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 no. So what you do with them? Easy, easy. At your bow, end to the soul, straight to his door, dead is cold. So what you can, but make no oath to God how was. See, true, but I'm alive. Yes. So believe in your lies, man. True. People read my eyes, so lie with your eyes, man. Take her away, lead her astray, fly to the spiritual world, and leave those physical pleasures to the mountain wonders, to the peaky blinders, and to the treasure hunters. You know them, right? So instead, create a wave, a space without a trace, then a pill like grace in a timeless praise. You know, have faith. I said, have faith, be faith driven, and you penetrate the V as an extended love, as a kid going back home, learn to be the self and make no oath to reveal this metaphor. Hmm? Allow me to resent you, this stupid urge to always speak of the dirty deeds we did in the lounges. We want to display our efforts with ravishments and forget the dismay may come with it. Lay low, moon low, sing slow like those songs you don't know. There's also this stupid urge to speak, to think out loud, to act, to speak the first thing that comes to your mind. Join the dark and shine the brightest. See, Expose your art like I'm doing. You shall see it demounted from the core. Leave it. You shall see it to die and rot either way. See, I'm the two hands. Believe or not, I am driven towards an end that I do not know. As I reach it, I shall become unnecessary an atom shall suffice to shatter me but until then until then all of the humankind forces combined together they'll do nothing to stop me I will be there you see when I'm gone I'll be home and I'll be free so don't cry for me my name is Stuhans Kayora also nice to meet you it's great to be here at the gallery. This is my first time, so I, I have to pay my respects to my diplomatic colleagues, uh, Karel and, and Ron, uh, who are habitués of the artistic cultural diplomacy. And I agree with Karel that uh, in, in many respects, going to a gallery is, is not a, a political statement and politics can be put aside. Although I would say in defense of artists that artists are often make very grand political statements in, in various media. So I'm happy to be here and to see uh, both the, the art of, of Latvia inspired by Africa and also to see the, the Rwandan artists exhibited above in this gallery. So thank you for that, that wonderful opportunity. Artists, whether they're photographers in particular, but perhaps as well uh, painters, uh, live by, in some ways, the, the rule of thirds. And the rule of thirds is what draws the observer, the connoisseur, and the casual observer to what is important in the arts. I want to salute your, your work and Vitor for your National Independence Day 
And thank you very much for inviting me to be with you here tonight. Let me just say first of all that uh, I'm very glad to have been invited. When I came in here, I thought it was the ordinary things that I see everywhere. Carvings hanging over there. I didn't expect to see what I've seen. I am very, very much impressed by the team that put this together. And uh, I can only say congratulations. <laughs> it's not every day in Rwanda that uh, you have this kind of setting that you see here. You understand why that has been impressive. But at the same time, it's not every evening that you go to a function and you find so many people from so many different countries coming for one purpose. And the purpose is to support those that are out to tap the various talents out there and help develop them. Everybody that came in here to support uh, the function, the team, came for a good cause. And while it's not really my job, I, I must thank each one of you for having made the time to support this Rwanda initiative, initiative by people who want to support uh, Rwanda talents, um, because there's no better contribution you can make. So let me just say that uh, congratulations, uh, the founders. Thank you, everybody, for supporting them. To our performers and the musicians up there, thank you so much.